Good morning, this is Tim Blankenship with Divorce661.com and today we're going to talk about the checklist uh, you can use for the uncontested divorce judgment uh, in California. I've been getting a lot of calls uh, from folks who are asking me, um, you know, folks who want to do this themselves, of course, if there's a checklist online or what checklist do we use that you can use to submit your judgment and make sure you have all the forms necessary. So I'm going to go over this step by step in this video, go over what the uncontested dissolution judgment checklist has on it. There is one thing that's missing. They've updated the, uh, the judgment forms for uh, Los Angeles County anyways. Actually, it's going to be uh, for California. And uh, so I want to go over everything that's on here. And I'm also going to put a link uh, in this video. Um, if you just go down to the text below, I'll put a link in the text and you, it'll take you to my blog and I will have uh, this PDF available for your for your viewing. I'd recommend you just print it out and actually what I do is I write the client's name at the top, um, I highlight uncontested you know dissolution judgment or whatever the case is. We're, I'm going to be doing another video on all the different types of judgments you can submit because each of them is different, all the forms are different and I'm letting the court know when they get the judgment package, hey this is the type of uh, judgment we are um, we are submitting, so these are the forms you're going to be looking for, just to you know, kind of help them understand what we're doing so they don't think we missed a form when we didn't. So uh, on the uncontested dissolution judgment, the, here's the list of forms you're going to need. Um, and, and just so you know, an uncontested dissolution is defined as this. A petition was filed, a response was filed, and the parties have a written agreement. So this is what you would use when you file for divorce, your spouse filed a response, and you're entering into a written agreement. Um, you have to have an appearance stipulation and waivers, FL 130. If uh, children are involved, you need a declaration under Uniform Child Custody and Jurisdiction Act, FL 105. Now, just as a note, you would have already done this when you first filed for divorce, this UCCJEA. Uh, you would have done that already. You only need to update that if there's been some changes. You're going to need a declaration regarding service or preliminary declaration of disclosure. You would have done this after you filed your petition and after and your, your spouse will have done it after they filed their response. It's the uh, declaration of disclosure. It's the form you filed that said you, you prepared all your financial disclosures and served them. Make sure that's filed before you submit your judgment. Um, the declaration regarding service of final declaration of disclosure. You probably won't need that. I've never had to complete that form. We always are using the, the next one on that list, the stipulation and waiver of final declaration of disclosure. So whatever the case may be, just include the proper form. You need a declaration for default or uncontested dissolution, because that's FL-170. And you need a judgment uh, form, the FL-180, which will be essentially your cover sheet. Notice of entry of judgment, FL-190. And if there's child support, you're going to need the uh, stipulation to establish or modify child support, FL350. Um, or you can use the uh, child support and order attachment, FL342. I know there's a lot of forms. You know, I would just suggest you go down and click. If, you, if this is something that you need, you know it's uncontested, you know that a petition was filed, a response was filed, and you have a written agreement, um, just click the link below and you can, you can get this PDF off our blog. Um, if you have child support, you may want to include a DISO master, um, uh, income withholding order, although it's not necessary. Just remember, if you have child support, you're going to need the FL341 attachment. If you have spousal support, you're going to have a 343 attachment. And what's not on this form is the FL345, which is the property order attachment. It's a new form. Uh, what the courts are trying to do is go to, get away from the the written narrative in the judgment and everything is an attachment, a form attachment to the FL-180. So I hope that helped. Um, we do provide the service where we can submit your judgment for you and take care of this uh, for you if you like. Uh, otherwise, feel free to use this judgment and uh, take a shot in getting it submitted. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. My name is Tim Blankenship with Divorce661.com. You can reach me at 661-281-0266. Thanks for watching and have a great day.